Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mateo's Corner. Today, I think we're going to be able to beat Crash 3 today. It really just depends on how long some of these other levels go. Uh, so let's begin with the Mad Bombers level. And then, let's see. After this one, we've got a future level and the Egyptian level left. And then we got Cortex. So hopefully it still only takes one. But knowing how this game can be, we might be here for yet another episode. It really just depends on if the game will allow me to beat this quickly or not. Luckily, uh, these missions aren't too bad. You can actually breeze through these pretty quickly. As long as you know what you're doing. And if the game decides you can hit everything correctly on the first go. Sometimes they don't let you do that. And then you're stuck with enemies hitting you and... You know. All that good stuff. Oh, I thought I took that one down. Interesting. Odd. There he goes. That was weird. Don't hit me when I'm trying to get the health thing. What the heck, dude? It's funny how the enemies don't attack you unless they are, like, looking spot on at you. I think that's kind of nice, though, because then you don't got to worry about... You know, too much stuff going on at once. Luckily, you don't get hurt when you hit the planes physically, so it's also kind of nice. All right, two more boxes and one more plane. And then this level is good as done. One. And look at that. The last one is a health box. Wow, he went way out over there. Oh look, just like the blimps, there's little wreckage of the sh of the planes. That's really cool. I still really, you know, there's a lot of things that they do in this remaster that I really, really do like. There's stuff I don't like, like the thing with the motorcycles, but the um, the stuff like with that, little tiny details like that are always really cool. Okay. Ugh. Let's see. Did I already do this one? Yeah, this was the Egyptian one, right? Yeah, I already did that one. So yeah, we just have the futuristic one and the Egyptian one. Crash, Coco. Remember, it is not only Dr. Cortex that we battle. Beware of Uka Uka, my children. He is a far more dangerous enemy than anyone can imagine. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> hey, they just said, oh, go get the green gem for a path. Well, we just got the path right now. What do you think about that game? What you think about that? All right, I'm going to not be stupid this time. So apparently these guys you can actually pass, I think. You could just kind of do this. I had no idea as a kid that you could do that. I always thought you had to hit them, but yeah, you really don't have to, which is really kind of funny. All right, this though, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna play this one a little smart and just kind of do this. There we go. So now, you see these boxes here, how we can't actually, you know, hit them? Uh, yeah, there's a reason for that. Um, you'll see. You'll see what I'm going to have to do. One, two, three. All right, now I think... 
Can't be too careful when you're going backwards. All right. So as you noticed, that box up there didn't become complete. So you're probably wondering, well, how, why is that? Well, we're going to leave this bouncy box. Yeah. All right. We're going to leave this bouncy box for later. And I will show you why. Oh, man. I got neck pain. Oh, give me a second. Sorry if you hear a lot of rustling crack of my neck. Oof. I'm not even going to bother with you. I mean, I did, but not in the sense that I'm going to try to dodge him or spin into him. I'm just going to take him out real easy. Okay, I think this is the weapon. Let's see. It is! Alright, so just like before... There's boxes that are untouchable. So I'm just going to skip these for now. Do the bonus round. I know this seems very strange. But there is a method to my madness. You must trust me. away life. There we go. Got 49 Wumpas. Got most of the boxes. Alright, here we go. Oh, you know what? Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to get rid of most of these enemies, because I just... Mm. Alright. Here we go. This is what my madness was leading up to. I'm not looking forward to this one. Alright. Um, I know I could probably go around him, but I'm not going to try. I'm just going to... Oh, I also thought that you had to do this to defeat him when I was younger, but you could just spin into him. Pro tip for you guys, you don't have to try very hard with some of these enemies. You could just, you know, attack them like this guy over there. Done. Gone. So, you may notice that we have a clear gem. But then you also got this. Now, do you remember those boxes that, um... Oh, I should have saved a checkpoint. Oh, that's not good. I gotta go through all that. And I can't get hurt. Mmm. I didn't think about that. Oh, well. We'll just keep going. Everything will be fine, right? <laughs> Jeez. Every little thing is going to be alright. It's crazy, though, how, like, we're so close to beating this game. Alright, so, do you see this? See that right there? There we go. We already did the bonus round. 
And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I cleared out those enemies earlier because now it's going to be a lot easier, let me tell you. There we go. And then just like this guy. Boink. Should be getting a checkpoint now, I think. You know what? Even if I go over 30 minutes with this episode, we're we're gonna be ending Crash 3 with this episode. I I I I, I highly doubt it's gonna take another two episodes. I I don't think it will. I think we can literally just get this done. All right, here we go. There's the other gem. Got it. In the bag, my friends. All right, can I skip this? <laughs> All right, I think we just got the, the Egyptian level, of which I won't be doing the gem. I'm just going to speed through it. Because I do want to try to beat Cortex in this mission. But look at this. A, a not-so-perfect speedrun. Kind of, sort of. We got 51%. That, that's not bad, you guys. It's not bad. That's really not bad. I actually went for the color gems. I went for some of the other normal gems. It's not bad. All right. This one, I'm actually going to try to speedrun. I, 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 I won't even worry about the the uh, bonus round area. I'm just going to speed through this so we can go fight Cortex. Here we go. Ah, well, that was, that was already a, a fluke, but that's fine. That's fine. We're doing good. I hate those guys. I hate those guys. Get away. Oh, hang on. I'm going to wait. Ooh. Almost missed that jump. I almost didn't see it. Gosh darn it. Not going for the checkpoint. Or not checkpoint. Not not going for the bonus round. That's what I was trying to say. I'm just so focused on getting through this that I'm <laughs> mincing my stuff, but that's okay. Because look, perfect run. Missed, you know, every box. <laughs> All right, we're going to beat Cortex. We're at the end, you guys. We're actually at the end. Here we are. We're here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at, they even have the, the old Cortex um, health. Oops, wrong thing. Here we go, 52%. 53%, whatever it is after we beat Cortex. Here we go! Final boss! <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the part where I'm supposed to be angry, full of rage, incensed beyond belief. Hmm. Once again, you have outsmarted and outspun my best henchmen. I should be rather upset, shouldn't I? And in fact, we're furious. But it seems you have overlooked one small detail, you little orange delivery boy. Now that you have gathered all the crystals, all we have to do is take them from you. 
Here we go. Oh wow, they're, they're already doing it. Okay. Ah! Ooh! Ooh. Getting feisty there. Masks. freaking love this boss theme. Like, even in the original game, this theme was so good. Uh oh. This is the one that usually gets me. Ooh! Oh, I didn't even see him over there! <laughs> What's nice is that they stop fighting when you, uh... Although, Uka Uka can save Cortex before he falls into the pit, so that's why you gotta be a little careful. I kinda wish that he had more health. Because, like, compared to, like, Engine and a couple other bosses, like... I, I really wish they had that he had, like, one more... Like, double the amount of health instead of just having three. Like, every section was two different phases or something like that. That, that, that would have been really cool. Oh. Well, there we go. All right. Here we go. We beat the game, guys. That's it. We did it. With time to spare. It again. This is not fair. Maybe I should retire to a nice big beach with a nice big drink and a woman with nice big bags of ice for my bed. <laughs> it's not over, There are still the gems. We still have a chance to triumph. Yeah, but. We're not doing that. <laughs> if I do that, it'll be a totally separate series, like, way later, because I don't want to do relics. I really don't. I if I do something like this, I would do the relic stuff off-camera and then come back and do gems later. Um, because, yeah, I really don't want to do gem uh, relics for a whole s streaming whatever it is this is uh so everybody um actually you know what if i go get the other gems i might do it from this one un unless i've already started to get all the side ones and maybe i won't 53 percent. that's not bad you know mo most people like when you beat this game without getting all the gems you don't even get 50 percent. so cool we got all the crystals we got almost every single gem we got like half of the gems, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. I don't actually know how many gems are in the game. Uh, but anyway, that was Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, everybody. Um, thank you all so much for um, joining me throughout this entire playthrough. Had a lot of fun playing this game again. Uh, I have a couple plans on some other games I'm going to jump, in, jump into, but this was like one of the bigger ones I really wanted to get out of the way. And um, have fun playing. Yeah, Crash, do your victory dance. Enjoy that victory. You've earned it. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this before in another episode, but I think it's really cool that, like, the reason why Coco has been in the other games as a playable character is because she's using the warp room to, like, get herself there. I think it's kind of clever. Excuse me. Anyway, um, that is it for today's episode. I know it's a bit of a shorter episode than usual, but we beat the game. So... I call that a win, honestly. Oh, oh. Anyway, I'm going to go take a nap now because I'm very tired. Uh, thank you all for uh, joining today. If you liked this video and just anything 
this entire playthrough in general. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit that little bell icon, because YouTube is telling us to do that now. And also, uh, put in the comments below what you would like to see me play. Um, I could try to do it. I don't know if I could actually do it, per se. It really depends on if I have the right capture equipment to do so. But, um... Yeah, if I can, I'll, I'll definitely try to do it. Um, anyways, I will see you all next time with a whole new game. Y'all take care. Have a good one.